All right, this is for my week four assignment essay. Um, it's about the Gospel of John. So um, we're supposed to talk about if you were a Jewish person in that time and place and heard words like bread, shepherd, resurrection, vine, would those words have any special meaning? And then describe the significance of a Jewish person hearing a prophet say the words, I am. Okay, so basically, if you lived in that time, you would not have any idea what any of these words mean. So I can only imagine what the Jewish people thought when they when this random guy named Jesus showed up and was like, hey, I am, like he literally just said, I am. So what could that mean? Um, basically in the Jewish culture, they were wanting to, they were waiting for, according to the prophecy, they were waiting for a Messiah to what they thought was going to be someone who was going to rise up and defeat the Romans. Like, to, like save them from oppression, kind of like Moses did in Egypt. So they thought that the Messiah was going to be this great warrior and was going to crown himself king and that they were going to rule the world basically through this Messiah. However, here comes along this guy named Jesus who claims he is the Messiah that they've been waiting for, yet doesn't, doesn't promote violence, doesn't want a rebellion of any kind, literally says you must pay taxes to Caesar, who's the Roman um, ruler at that time. You must, like, obey the laws and everything. Love your neighbor. Like, basically is this calm, like, peace-loving um, person. So, of course, they faced a lot of um, uncertainty in their, um, in Jesus being the Messiah. So, they hear things like bread and shepherd. Shepherd would have Bread would have just been something that they would have eaten. Um, but, of course, to us, bread means, like, Jesus' body or, like, the bread of life, like, you know, what we get our sustenance from. Shepherd to them would have just been another job, someone who, like, handles the sheep. But shepherd to us is, like, Jesus guiding us, like, being lost sheep, us not knowing, like, who he is. Him, like, guiding us around and keeping us safe. Resurrection they probably, to us, that means that Jesus was, like, resurrected from the dead. Like, he, like, was, you know, resurrected from the dead. But resurrection to them, they wouldn't have had any, like, special meaning just, like, to come back to life or to regain, like, to regain some um, life. The vine would have just been, like, what, like, grapes or whatever. But vine to us is, like, the vine, like, what we the teachings and, like, what we learn from, like, we pick the fruit from that. So, like, all these um, would have just been normal things to them, like, everyday items. But as Christians, we know that they have a specific meaning, kind of like a metaphor. And so, um, yeah, so basically in the first century, Jewish people would have been super, super confused as to who Jesus was, and that's why it was such a big deal when people would actually follow him because they – didn't necessarily understand everything that he was saying, but they were so willing to listen to him. So, woo.